What's going on folks? Welcome back to another episode. Before we jump into today's video, I guess a huge shout out to Blinkist for sponsoring today's video. Instead of having to find the time to read a whole book, I can just listen to all of the highlights in just 15 minutes using Blinkist. Blinkist allows you to save time, money, and learn new things faster than ever. You can use it for your self-improvement, development, parenting, marriage, and many other areas. There are 14 million active users using Blinkist right now, and you can either read them or listen to them podcast style. Some of my personal favorites right here are the money management books. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of them right here. Year. That's obviously super important across the board. It doesn't matter who you are is learning how to manage your money. I personally am not a huge fan of reading books, so this is a perfect fit for me and it might be a perfect fit for you. The first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com slash Flair are going to get access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off if you want the full membership. The seven day trial is completely free and you can cancel at any time during that period. So again, click the link down below if you guys want to try out Blinkist. Huge shout out to those guys for sponsoring today's videos. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! Welcome back, folks, to another episode. We start the day off. Well, we are at Burger King. Egg Normas Burrito, French Toast Sticks, BK Cafe, two for four, two for five. I'm not sure what to get here, but we're starting off with some Burger King, a little mukbang action in the morning. We've got a very special day planned. What are you getting? I don't know. I kind of want to try the French Toast Sticks. I think they're not good or no? They're all right. The sauce is good with it, but like- You mean syrup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then French toast is slap because the like, sauce they is so. What did they give you icing with? There's something that they give you icing with. Oh, oh maybe the, they give you no, icing no, the Cine Minis. Oh, that's oh, what it is. Oh, oh, See, that's what I was talking about. Those are fire. A, Cine, a Cine Mini. Is that here or Burger King? No, it's, it's here, yeah. but they don't have them. It's um, limited. Rip. Rip. Dude, Cine Minis, game changer. Why didn't you tease me like that? Well, uh, we got some two, three, two burritos, a sandwich, some French toast sticks with the sauce, right? Yeah, good, sauce. good sauce. In important sauce. So I, I don't like. I've had the French toast sticks here. You had it with the I sauce? used to have French toast sticks in elementary school. You ever had them? Oh gosh. Oh, those. Yeah. Dude, you would like. You ever when you got lunch in elementary school? Could you like give a double? Could you order double or do they like yeah. do that? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You always went double on oh, the French toast sticks. And pizza. Yeah, pizza. Pizza yeah, sticks. Do you have pizza sticks? No. Ooh. Pizza stick. I yeah. have Bosco sticks. They're like, uh, who's that? You never have Bosco sticks? Who's that? You guys never had those? No. Oh, it's like a big old cheesy breadstick. That's okay, kind of the same. So it's kind like of kind of a breadstick with some dipping sauce. Pizza sticks. And There's no one at this window. <laughs> ah, she's here. What's up, Shadow? <laughs> Iced coffee from Burger King. Rip, I cracked my straw. Wait. Huh. <laughs> That's so bad. Dude, that's like putting a freaking straw in a bottle of cream. Dude, that's net. I know. I'm a fan of cream. Like, I really am. Like, I like cream and coffee. There ain't mm. no coffee in here. We need to order a second round of drinks. No, I'm serious. I don't think there's co there's not coffee in here. I think she just put creamer. I mean, it kind of tastes good, but. Is there a way we could get some straight up coffee to mix in with these uh, iced coffees? <laughs> like, can I order? It's just a lot of cream. We'd like to dilute it a little bit. Is that possible? Can I get like a, yeah, just like a large coffee? Alrighty folks, we are, we got our order. I'm gonna go park real quick. Let you guys know how it is. So far the coffee, zero out of 10. I mean, if you literally put a straw in a coffee mate jug of cream, it would probably taste better than this. So I ordered a large hot coffee to hopefully splash in and mix with my iced coffee order to make it taste better. But we'll go ahead and park and let you guys know how it is. Wow, it looks, actually looks like coffee now. It kind of. It's getting there. I'm starting off with French French toast sticks. You said these are garbage, but they got good sauce, as you can tell right here. Woo! Woo! I'm, woo! They're hot. I think they taste like the same ones I got my school lunch in fourth grade. Like the microwave. Yeah, they're definitely microwaved, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'd give them like a, maybe like a six. Six out of ten. Okay. And then we've got a Chipotle size. I mean, that. for a fast food joint, it's a mega. Stick that meat in your mouth, son. Mm. That was all tortilla. That was great. I know, right? All right, I'll give it to him. I'd say the burrito is probably for a breakfast burrito. A big meaty son of a gun, pretty good. You got a sandwich back there? How's that going? It tastes like butt. Is it bad? Yeah, it's something with this the ham they put in here. It ain't it. But Eight I'm still gonna finish it. Really? The ham's not the deal. No. Cool doesn't like his sandwich. Yeah, I, I get the burrito for fast food like an eight out of ten. The Olay's decent. French toast sticks. Nah. Anyways, today's plan. Now that we're loaded up on food, it's eight a.m. We've got a four hour drive folks we are headed northwest to somebody's 
hunting ranch. Okay, so long story short, a buddy of mine's got this ranch and he said that he's got a few animals left that he had expected to have been hunted by now. And for various reasons, he still has them there and they have to they have to go. They have to go to a new home essentially. And so he offered it to us and said, hey, if you wanna come out, we can go hunting and try to take care of business, if you guys know what I'm saying. So that's the plan. We're not sure what we're going after. He just told me that he's got animals left that again, he expected to be hunted and did not. So, and, and he has no open book or open. He has no booked hunts. So the animals are just going to chill there. And so he asked to take care of them. He wants to get them off of this area in particular. So that's where we're going. We are headed up to do some hunting and we're going to show up and see what, see what he has to offer. He said, there's a lot of cool stuff there. I think what he say there's elk and there's rams and there's, we're not going to shoot an elk obviously, but there's a, there's a couple other things, some exotic stuff. So we're going to run up there and, uh, see what we find and hopefully put something down on the ground something that we've never harvested before and then take it back home and do a catch clean cook you guys stay tuned I, I didn't even realize what I was, how fast I was going, to be honest with you. Well, not how I expected to start off the trip, okay? In my defense, I thought since the speed limit was 80. It was not, it was 70. So when I was going six over, I was actually going 16 over. That don't fly well with Mr. State Trooper. He was not happy with me, but he was a nice guy. He, he, uh, he gave me a little bit of break. I mean, I got a ticket, don't get me wrong, but don't speed and uh, make sure you know what the speed limit is, folks. Okay, I, my intention was not to speed. It really was, like, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get there in a hurry. I just, for some reason, assumed the speed limit was 10 miles an hour more than it actually was at the time. Honest mistake, it happens to the best of us. So, got the police out of the way here. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, he wished us safe travels and to have a good time. So, we'll see you guys there. Folks, finally, dodged a few more coppers, but we made it. We are at the ranch here. This place is absolutely insane. Okay, so we're gonna start, the, the, the guys, the owners here, they're saying we're, we should hopefully see herds of bison, herds of elk, all sorts of stuff. He well, said buffalo. Yeah, he but said but buffalo. The, I think it's the same thing though. No, no, bison live in the United States. No, 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 but I think what he's calling a buffalo is, is a bison. bison? Okay, okay. I'll have to ask him, but Big so we're, we're here and we're gonna get started here and, and go around. So again, to back, to preface, we're only only going after these ram sheep are they sheep are they, sheep are they are they technically rams yeah you see the deer over there yeah. rams are sheep sheep it's, it's a sheep with a horn so it looks like a ram to me but that's what we're after and like they said the only reason why is because he only said he said they there's only a couple left and they have to get rid of them and they they sold the hunts and they couldn't find them so they brought us out to hopefully find these guys to harvest for a catching so look at this though these are look at these elk they're all males yes and so all of these are males and they all have their they tranquilize them and they cut their horns horns off so they don't hurt each other so right now they're in a small con you know smaller confined area but the only reason why they're in this area is because it's been so cold you can see look it's like cattle they've got the hay they've got the grass but you said these guys are four years old yeah, yeah. and they're about to release them so this place is all about wildlife management and it, it, it's taking care of a herd of elk like this right raising them getting them prepared and then letting them out to thousands of acres of land just let them go do their thing so I've never seen this before this this is absolutely look at those elk dude i've never seen an elk in person in my life oh look at those guys over there so these are all males but they like so they chop they tranquilize them so they work with the local gaming parks the dnr the department of agriculture so they work with all these guys on how to do this the most efficiently effectively and the safest way to raise and really improve the quality of the herd so these guys it's basically just like a a massive just it's hard to wrap your head around a massive livestock operation with these guys dude i feel like we got to get some elk i think they'll let us hand like pet them or what if we just got one. You know, them and Carol. Carol needs a friend anyway. True. What if we just get one? How much do you think one elk is? Probably like, I bet it's like six, seven grand. You think Ralph would like it? Ralph? 
Ralph, Ralph in the I mean, we've got we've like? got a camel. How can like? see look at see how they're fighting? But see, they don't have horns and or uh, antlers, I should say. They might be making up. I'm not sure. It's 2021. But they're hanging out. There's just a deer over there. I don't know what kind of deer. It is. They said they had fallow Sitka? And, and Sika deer. Maybe are the two deer that they have. Then they've got rams. They've got sheep. They have bison. All, we're gonna see a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna hopefully go run around and explore a little bit and see these animals. Like I said, we're not here to go shoot one of these guys. Like that's not the goal. The goal is to harvest one of these sheep that they basically don't have a hunt for and they offered it to us to come out and i was like heck yeah i would love to come out explore obviously see these beautiful animals and hopefully get something down on the ground to eat for a catch clean coat that's the idea and i know some of you guys obviously are against the whole high fence thing I, and i get that i totally get it this isn't one of those like i'm going out here to prove myself as the best hunter in the world just an opportunity that came up to harvest an animal it would get harvested anyway so why not go out there and explore it and enjoy it with you guys so you guys can watch it and kind of see what these guys have going on this whole operation it's just it's to me it's really cool. I think it's really cool what they're doing um, how much work and basically time and money and effort goes into raising these things and producing really high quality animals anyway so with that being said let's get started look at that pond right there can you see I don't know if you guys can quite see that a little watering hole down there so we've got just a little bit of pond we've been walking for like 30 minutes now so we're talking to the the gentleman here and they said that these guys the the, the sheep that we're after kind of elusive that there's people that came out and spent days here and did not find them. So this is, it's gonna be a lot harder than I would think. But I mean, look look how dense this is. Like this is, this is what we're dealing with right now. So we've been walking for a little bit. We're just gonna keep kind of walking. There's some trails and stuff. We're not taking any ATVs or four wheelers. This is really just boots on the ground walking. We haven't seen any animals yet. We're hoping to see some bison, maybe some elk, some different kinds of deer and stuff like that. But honestly, this is a lot harder than than one may think. Again, the, the speculation on high events is that you're hunting people's pets. This is literally days of walking. So all it takes is you to stumble upon the herd, see them in the bushes, put a stock on them and get them down on the ground. But I had to show you guys the scenery. This is this is absolutely insane. It's beautiful. You don't you feel like you're not even in the Midwest. You feel like you're in like Colorado or something like that, but it is windy. So anyways, let's get back to walking. Well, folks, we spotted our first herd of animals being buffalo, okay? Like I said, we're down in this ravine. They, they just ran away, so we're not trying to be quiet. Like, we're not hunting them. We're literally walking around looking for these, like, two or three freaking sheep in this thousands and thousands and thousands of acres. So it might take us all day, but at least we're getting to see some other animals enjoy nature and uh, along the way, but that's crazy. I feel like we're in real life Call of the Wild yeah, right now. I know, I thought they were in chase. I, 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 I was kind of nervous, I thought, I, I, we asked the guys if they charge and they said no, but I've played Call of the Wild too many times. I mean, I, I know what those guys can do. It, it ain't gonna be good. I'm glad I'm the one that's strapped here, but we're gonna keep walking. Hopefully we find some elk. I've never seen elk, like, you know, out roaming. Obviously we saw them earlier today, but with their big, big rack on them and stuff, so. We're gonna keep walking and let you guys know if we see anything else. Well, folks, who we made it down to the watering hole that you guys saw a little bit ago. That's what it looks like. Unfortunately, it's frozen, which, I mean, the animals can still get a drink and stuff, but if you guys know anything, call the wild. You go to the watering holes and you see animals. But I don't see any of the sheep today. There's not much, not much going on with this watering hole. I think since it's frozen, it probably isn't quite as producing. And there's, I'm sure the times of day and stuff affect it as well. So anyways, made it down to the watering hole. Basically playing real life call the wild haven't seen anything yet we just stumbled upon a herd of fallow deer so they look just like white tails but they have these like like moose like antlers it's the way they don't have any right now those might be does or they, they dropped them by now but dude, this is i'm seeing so many animals i've never seen in person this is just it's crazy like so many cool animals in this area that are literally just thriving in all this like thick just bush like i feel like we're in colorado right now but that's another species we're not after. We're still after the elusive freaking sheep. Oh, just, oh, there's more bison right up there, right up on the hill in the trees. We've been hiking, boys. Look at this. This is just, oh God, this is getting it right now. We haven't seen elk yet. That's a big one on the list. We've seen some bison and some fallow deer. I'm out of breath, dude. It's hard to walk and look at this. 
It's just sloppy over here. Look at Banjo's about dying. Ew. Oh man, we made it to the top of this. Look at this, beautiful open pasture. Now this is where we came to go look for the buffalo. They like the, the plains like this. So we went through a ravine, saw some animals hiked up. We're just covering as much ground as we can. Boots on the ground, I'm trying to find these freaking sheep. Right over there, found a new herd of fallow deer. One of them's white. Is it albino or is it just called white? Just, just white. Crazy. Pure white. It, you can tell they're tucked back in that pocket there, away from this wind. You can, you can freaking hear the wind. So the wind's blowing this way, so that they're all bedded down right now. So they're, right now they're bedded down. They're hiding, trying to stay out of that wind a little bit and still be able to eat a little bit of food. So right now we're up here, looking for elk. This is where they've said they've seen them, but the problem is we have wind, and if it's windy, the elk go down the valley. They're a little bit harder to find. All right, we're making our way back along this other side here, and we're kind of going down in this ravine, and now we're in the thicket. This is this is where like you just see Buddy Chun and just let it eat. You know what I mean? It could happen. We're we've tried the prairie, we've tried the open stuff. Now we're going down these sketchy trails right here. Hopefully not falling. I mean, imagine one of those big freaking buffalo come down here. He'd be like a he'd be like a car. Pull the e-brake and just slide down the ice. Like Buddy would be just gone. So so far no elk. I've seen a lot of other deer and, and whatnot, but man, do you got it? You gonna die or what? You got it. You supposed to talk this much when you're hunting? We need that scent spray that's in Call of the Wild. I think that's a problem. Oh my God. I just caught myself. Thank you, you <laughs> took me down too. You got it, go ahead. Freshy. Wow. Well, we found elk tracks, so. I think we're in the right spot. We're I think the right way. I think the wind's got them down, down in cover. So again, we're not hunting them. We just, I, I just want to see them with my eyes. So this has been a little poop right there. Yeah, throw it in like that, a little blueberry. That's freshy. Oh, that is a freshy. Yeah. Sheesh, guy. All right, we got fresh gonads and prints. We're gonna find them. Man, I really should have trained for this. <sighs> Definitely out of shape. How you? 137 beats per minute. 137 beats per minute. Close to death. Yeah, I think you might go into cardiac arrest here soon. Bane just got his watch on, so we're tracking how much we're hiking. I did not expect these freaking sheep to be this hard to find. We've been walking for like three hours already. All right, so we found the herd. There's three I'm hiding right now. They're, they're right over on that side of the, uh, the pond. You can see there's water right in front of us. They're right on the other side. We've got the perfect wind right now. They have no idea we're here. They're bedded on the backside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to walk out kind of in the open prairie a little bit and just see if there's a tree in between us and them, like a big bushy one, and kind of use that as our screen. And hopefully if they get up, they'll walk out from that tree. They won't even see us standing there. We'll already be ready to go with the sticks and lay it down on the ground. Wish us luck. He's down. Yes! All right. Yes! He's down. We did it. Wow. We kind of walked all around. I found them bedded on the back side of this little pond dam. Scooted around, they got up and started walking. We used the tree right in front of us as a screen. Walked right out. He's down. Buddy's toast. Oh, look at this guy. I've never wow. seen one of these up close in person. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. What an absolute beautiful animal. I've never seen anything like this. Like with the the horns that curl, I mean, they're just beefy sons of guns. Beefcakes. Literal beef beefcakes. <sighs> we finally got them. How many how many miles did we walk? We walked like four, uh, at least four. Yeah. Last time you checked, it was about four. Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah. Four and a half miles for this stuff. We saw everything I bought elk. It was about the only thing that we didn't see. So lots of different deer. This dude, we finally found them. They were bedded up on the back side of a pond ridge. See, you can see the wind's blowing this way, so they were on the back. We should have thought of that first, but I mean, we basically were just kind of trying to walk as much as we possibly could. But we got them down on the ground. It That's is time guy. to clean this sucker, and we are going to be eating. We're not sure what part, what bits and pieces. We're going to talk to the gentleman here and ask him what's the best way to prepare this. But we are going to get some meat off this guy, harvest him, put the remainder in the freezer. But we are going to eat some today in today's video. See you guys. Stay tuned. Shoo!
Woo! And we are back, folks, from the exotic sheep hunt. Okay. Did you think? Good time? It was fun. Uh, we walked quite a bit. Was I was kind of surprised how hard it was. Those little suckers. Now I know why while well, they invited us, because they're like, oh, let's get three young beef kits to go walk our the whole property and try to find them. We finally found them, but we took one out. Two, we're gonna leave. This is what we took home. We got both the back straps, and then this is a, I cut into a steak. This is from the back hind leg. The rest of it we're actually getting turned into pepper jack cheese snack sticks, and then some regular jerky. Um, and I'm getting a euro mount of it, so I'm not getting a full shoulder, but I was like, oh, you might as well get the skull, it'd look pretty cool. So we're out in the garage, we're gonna cook it on the old panini press, the classic. You know, these are not gonna take very long at all, so I'm gonna put these on first, and then that's that's more of like a full blown steak. Back strap, it just wasn't much meat, so we wanted to at least compare the two. Just back strap better than the back leg. But before we cook this, you guys say huge shout out to my boys over at BB Trophy Hunts. That's where we were at. It'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. They've got a bunch of hunts. I know they were busy, they were kind of booked up for this following year. Um, but that's what they kind of invited us in to kind of clean up shop. We also talked to them about some other ideas though. Like there's days where they have to go out and tranquilize elk because they have to put ear tags and do studies on them, which is gonna be like kind of next level wildlife management, that kind of high fence stuff. So and if and if you guys want to see something like that, let me know because they could said that potentially there'd be an opportunity for us to go back and see some stuff like that and document it for you guys. So if you guys like that, the management style and kind of seeing how everything operates, um, you'll have to let me know. But this grill is almost heated up. We are gonna throw some of this on there though. We've got some ducks wild game seasoning. Just a little bit left. Lucy, Millie, you guys want some? You guys are here, you want here, I'll give you a little piece. You guys want some sheep? Gentle, gentle. That's not gentle. Oh, rip, sorry, Millie, no, Millie, Millie, that was just a crumb. Millie. No, Lucy, I already gave you a piece. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. There you go, Millie. Throw some wild game on it. I said, I'm gonna throw the tenderloins on first, just so they get done, because you obviously want some nice contact. And we're probably talking like a minute or two. So while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and season this guy up and get them prepped and ready for the grill. We'll take these guys off, let them cool off, throw this guy on, try them both, let you guys know how they taste. Oh God, oh, yeah. that's done. Dude, that was less than a minute. That had to have been like 30 Very seconds. close. All right, so those are done. Throw a big chunky on there. That's why I like this thing. You guys always hate on the panini press. Look, we got grill marks. That guy, excuse me? Oh, we'll let that guy cook. All right, we're gonna cut this thing up so that way it doesn't overcook. Oh yeah, a little medium rare. This is pretty tender. Yeah, I think it's gonna be actually pretty good. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. It's gonna surprise us a little bit. We'll let that part cook just a little bit more. Go and grab a piece, Banjo. Oh, really? Shove that in your mouth. I thought we were waiting. Nope. Don't need any barbecue sauce for this episode? Mm-mm. Mm, okay. I just got it's so unique. Hot. Those, does it like compare to anything? Kind of like deer. It tastes like sheep. Really? Yeah. Like, have you ever had lamb? Like, maybe once in my life. It tastes kind of like lamb. Like it's got like it's it's that got its own sense. it's got its own way really of being gamey. Yeah. Not in a bad, bad way, way, but in a unique flavor. I, mean, I would way. compare it kind of like close to deer, but it has a little of its unique flavor. But like deer has more of that irony taste, yeah, like like is, blood. This is like just it's, it's, it would be kind of an acquired taste. I feel like I feel like if you like pretty good. if you like, like lamb, buttery. you like lamb, you would you you would like it. Full J, you get enough of that piece sure. right there. It's more tender than I would mm. expect, but it's got kind of like a it's 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 its, its own way of being gamey. I feel like yeah, unique. It, it's it's fairly gamey. Yeah, but not in like a, it doesn't taste like deer or duck though type you game. You don't like it. It's kind of gamey. It's not bad. It's I different. Like it. it's, it's different. Yeah, you, you like that. It's like buttery. Really? really? Yeah, like it was dipped in butter. Millie. Just play in the fridge. Millie. You wanna cut another piece or what? Yeah, I'm gonna go for so this. You're gonna go after that side? Yeah, we gotta try both pieces. Maybe this one's better. Really? What do you think this guy's doing? Yeah, oh, rip. Oh boy. You think it's done? You might have overcooked that one. Dude, that was it's like, thick. that was not very long. No, I don't think it's I don't think the Your light on the thing is red, though. What's that mean? It means it's probably done. Oh, no. That oh, thing's raw. That's, that'd be, raw. that's sushi. That's, that's, that's still mooing. That's ram sushi. You know I, mean? I don't think they move. What do they do? Bah. Bah. I didn't hear it. Okay. All right. You I'm get, going you, back in. You getting another piece off this mm. other one? Is that better or no? It's a little better. So good. I don't know. Jets. Maybe I had a weird piece. I don't know. Pool Jets whack. I like it. That piece was a little better. Let me, no, you eat this one, Pool Jets. It's a little chewy, though. Yeah, it's chewy. I don't like it. I, it's chewy. I'm going back in. Like, I really like it. Like, I'd give it an eight and a half out of ten. Really? I really like huh? it. I would say I'm that piece. i like a six. I'd say that piece I just had was not gamey. Was like way, the first it one. It wasn't gamey, it was but chewy. it's way chewier. Way chewier. Mm -hmm. okay, that piece was a little chewier. The, the, end, the, the taste end was better. The flavor on this one was a lot Way better. Yeah. Yeah, get a little nug. You get a little end. The end piece was my favorite. Get that nug action. Wasn't is that a little bit? Is that a little bit better or no? I feel like there's more flavor in that one. Yeah, yeah. it's probably just less. It's probably just like less meat, more actual seasoning of yeah. it. Yeah, take another piece. It is. It's better than. Oh, rip. That's got a lot of seasoning now. Is that pretty good? Okay. The end pieces were the deal. Mm -hmm. They're just like not chewy and like had good. 
flavor. Uh, mine was not gamey at all. That last piece, not gamey. I like it. That was better. That that piece mm. reminded me more of deer. I think you and I might have had a little gamey. Maybe we had a weird one. A little gamey yeah. piece, because that, that last one was not really that bad. I would say tenderloin, you're getting eight, eight and a half out of ten. Yep. I'd give it a seven. What do you I think? I give it like a six, six, six and a half. Six yeah. and a half, seven. So we'll see if the back leg's any better. Tenderloins, I feel like, are kind of tough to beat for just a straight up cut of meat like this. But you guys stay tuned. Oh yeah, look at that juicy piece of meat. We're set that guy off, let him cool down for a little bit. It feels a little tougher. Looks like a steak though. But it, doesn't that look like a steak? I feel like we cooked it pretty pretty well. Dude, this looks like a freaking good steak though. Ooh. If I got this at a restaurant, I wouldn't be mad. What are you going for? I'll go the end piece. Ooh, he's a big end piece guy. I am. All right, a little leg action. Mmm. 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 It's, it's chewy. My mouth hurts. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Oh, I got a full wad in my cheek. <laughs> Dude, I... It's not that bad, right? That was not edible. He just like, spit it out. It wasn't getting, like, more chewed up. I'll try, like, My is not breaking it down now. I'm gonna try, like, a little smaller piece that's not the end piece. I just, I just, I just swallowed that hole. <laughs> it's, it's gone. Is that better? No. No, it sucks ass. <laughs> You're a big tendy guy, then. Yeah, this is I mean, good. I don't think the flavor's bad. No, it's just, like... You want some? I'm eating a rock. And it's chewy. Ah, kind of hurts my jaw. I, see, the thing is, I think the flavor is better though. There's definitely more flavor, yeah. I don't think I get any game at all, mm -mm. at all. Mm -mm. But it's just—I mean, you better be in for a good workout. Did your jawline define? You know mm. what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Tip for you. Make Banjo look. All right, good. Millie. There you go, Lucy. Dude, I've been chewing for like three minutes. There you go, buddy. Well, I, I I would say like for me it's a tie. Flavor on the back leg better, way chewier. It's tenderloin. Not edible, though you can't, you have to swallow it whole. It's still. like it's like dip. You just throw it in and enjoy it and then spit it back out. Yeah. Tenderloin, flavor wise, hey. I think it was a little gamier, but it was a lot more edible. I, we gotta find ways to start tenderizing meat better. You just you gotta smack, smack it. it. You gotta smack that meat. You, you need to buy a little smacker. All right, I'll order a smacker then. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video of us going out helping our boys over at the B&B &B and getting it down on the ground. Getting it done. First time I've ever shot anything like that. It was like the, one of the most unique hunts I've ever had. I mean, walking, what did we say? It was like four, four, four and, and a half, half miles, miles yeah. of just, I don't hunt like that. I, I I mean, I deer hunt and I sit in a blind or I duck hunt and I sit in a blind. I don't walk. So for me, I thought it was interesting to just walk, see animals, see nature, see all sorts of different stuff. And then right at the end, finally found those suckers hiding on the backside of the pond, set up the sticks and Buddy didn't go 20. The bison were pretty cool too. Bison, that was my favorite Bison part. was cool. I, I felt like I was in Call of the Wild. Uh, I thought uh, I was gonna get ran over. Real life Call of the Wild. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you on the next one and peace.